Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic. In today's session, we are going to study input and output statement in C programming. Now, this is very crucial part in any programming language because input statements are used to take an input from an end user. Okay, and output statements are used to display the output to the end user. Now, for this, C has given some ready-made function to us. So, to take an input or to accept an input from a user scanf function is used okay and to display a output to the user printf function is used remember this thing that these are ready-made functions given by the c okay now what is function function is actually a program which has given some name okay now instead of writing a code for scanf and printf again and again what C has done, it has created one function and all the functionality of scanning the input or all the functionality to print the output on the monitor has kept in this function. So, we, we need not to write that code again and again. So, functions are generally written for the code which requires frequently and one name is given to it like this. So, for input, scan a function is used and for print, for output, print a function is used. Now let us see a scanf and printf function in detail. Okay, and definitely we are going to cover the function part in detail. We are going to write our own function so it will be more um, understandable to you. So let us see the input statement. As I told you, the basic input statement that we are going to study first is scanf. Okay. Actually, there are more input statement also, but we are going to study it step by step. Initially, we are going to focus on scanf and printf only. So, let us see the syntax. So, scanf in bracket and in double quote, you have to specify the format specifier. And then, comma sign, then ampersand sign will appear. And then after your variable then after your variable okay now what is a format specifier okay so let me list it so format specifier actually represent your data type now we already study the data type so let me write a format specifier for int so format specifier for int is person d Format specifier for long int is percent %ld. Format specifier for unsigned int it is percent %ud. Format specifier for float percent %f. Format specifier for double it is percent lf format specifier for char it is percent %c so these are the format specifier and you have to use it as it is and it is very much dependent on your variable data type suppose i want to scan the value of integer variable x say int x okay and i want to input a value and i want to store it in variable x so how how i write it scanf percent d because my x is of type integer comma and x okay i hope you got this syntax you have to write a function name scanf okay in bracket and in double quote you will write a percent d then comma then ampersand sign and then after your variable name will appear now why this ampersand sign is used just uh, we'll cover this part while studying the pointer but follow it as it is as a part of syntax timing okay timing follow it as it is now say i want to scan a value for more than one variable so you can do it using single statement also you need not to write a two different scanf function so scanf in that case you will write a format specifier twice and your variable name will appear like this ampersand x ampersand y so it is very compulsory to 
write a uh, format specifier for each variable so there should be a corresponding format specifier for each variable so first person d will represent x and second person d will represent y again if you have a value of different type say i have one value say float r and another one is int n and suppose i want to scan this value in that case you can also write it in a single scan if statement if you want Say suppose I want to scan the float value first and then integer value second. So percent f percent d comma. Now for percent f I have to use r and for d I have to use n. So you have to follow the order also. Remember this thing. Okay. Here you are specifying the format specifier for float first and then after integer. So your variable order should be appear like this. Means here you have to specify float variable first and then after the integer variable i hope you understand this syntax you have to remember this part initially once you get familiar definitely you can use it okay now let us see the next statement that is output statement and as i told you there is a printf function to print the output now let us see the syntax of printf now printf actually print the fixed text also okay and as well as it prints variable value also so let us write a syntax to print a fixed text okay now to print a fixed text what you have to do you have to just simply specify your text in double quote just specify the text in double quote it get printed as it is now suppose you have one variable say int p is equal to 30 timing i am assigning this value and i want to print this 30 now if i write my statement something like this print f p what happen output will be what it get print it will print p as it is it will never print the value of p that is 30 because as i told you to print a fixed text what you have to do you have to specify your text in double quote and here we are doing the same thing we are specifying our variable name in double quote so what is going to be happen here whatever you specified in double quote it get printed as it is now what to do if i want to print the value of my variable so there is another syntax and quite similar to scan a function say printf here you have to specify format specifier in double quote and then after comma and variable name okay so let me specify the syntax first and your variable will appear here now the difference between printf and scanf is that in printf statement ampersand sign do not appear and whereas in scan absence statement ampersand sign appear before your variable okay now let us see an example suppose i want to print the value of p so i'll say printf now my p is of type integer so format specifier for integer is percent d comma p now it will print the value of your variable so remember this thing that printf is used to print the value of variable as well as it is also used to print a fixed text so whenever you want to print a value of variable you have to specify the format specifier in double quote okay and then after your variable name appear outside the double quote and there will be no ampersand sign like scanf okay now let us print let us see few more example of this okay now suppose i want to combine fixed text and variable okay something like this okay so say i have a value of my variable say a is equal to 3.27 something like this okay and i want to print this value so if if I want to print this value, 
what will I say? Printf. Format specifier for float is f, and then a. So how your output will appear? Output will be something like this: the value of a get printed. Simple. But suppose I want to show that area is 3.27, something like this. Okay. What output I want? Area is 3.27. Means here I want fixed text. This is my fixed text. Okay. And this part is in my variable. Now, how to combine this both the part? Just have a look. So here I'll say printf. Fix part will appear in double quote as I told you. Area is and 3.27 is in variable a, which is of type float. So its format specifier will appear here. Percent f. So how it works? Area is get printed as it is, and in place of percent f, the value of variable a get printed. That is 3.27. Okay. So while uh, while printing, you can have uh, you can use a fixed text, you can use spaces, uh, you can use special symbol, but while scanning, this part is not allowed. Remember this thing. Here we studied the scanf statement. Hmm? While scanning. Uh, while using the scanf function, you cannot use a fixed text. You cannot use special symbol. Even you cannot use spaces. Also, remember this thing. But in printf, it is allowed. Okay. Now, let us see one more example. Say I want to print a message something like this. Addition of 20 and 30 is 50 okay now the part which i underline by red is fix right addition of and is okay and this part that i circle with yellow is in my variable Say assume that 20 is in variable a, 30 is in variable b, and 50 is in variable c. And a, b, c all are of type integer. A, b, c all are of type integer. Okay. Now suppose I want to print the statement. So I want this type of output. Okay. So let us see how to write it. I hope all of you guess it. So addition of definitely this part with fixed part, so it will appear in double quote. Now addition of a, a is of type integer, and the format specifier for integer is what percent d. Then and will appear as it is. Format specifier for b that is percent d is is appear is will appear as it is, and then then the format specifier for c. And you have to specify the corresponding Variables in order, okay. Remember this thing. In place of first person D, A will print. In place of second person D, value of B will print. And in case of third person D, value of C will get printed. If you change this order, output will be different. And remember this thing that the number of format specifier and number of variable should match. Otherwise, computer will generate an Error. Remember this thing. I hope you enjoy this part. And definitely, printf and scanf are used most frequently in program. Uh, almost 99% programs are incomplete without printf and scanf. Okay. Thank you. I hope you are enjoying my videos. If you like this video or uh, this video tutorial, please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you.